Wow. We're attacking inflation by fixing prices of, of all these American companies. You know, I spent over 30 years in the retail and wholesale distribution industry, and my state of Indiana has had price gouging legislature. And as Dr. Ritchie stated in his opening remarks, price gouging happens at the local level. In all my life, it's been my observation that it always happened at the retail, in small communities, done by small players. You know, H.R. 675 defies the economics of supply and demand. I've spent a lot of time uh, uh, in education, taking economics courses. There are some PhDs here that seem to be disregarding uh, what I learned in school. I believe this bill is an attempt by the Democrats to deflect their responsibility for aggravating the inflation that we've been dealing with during the pandemic. And what we're talking about today with 675 is an attempt to start fixing prices at retail and wholesale across this country from Washington, D.C., because we know better here in Washington, D.C. Since all of my economic classes discuss the principles of price elasticity, I'm disappointed how this bill is seen as a solution. Price elasticity is ultimately a result of supply and demand, and a number of you witnesses know that very well. Having said that, can each of you answer a question for me? If the prices have been going up by the control of the companies and not inflation, why have these companies that have been accused of price gouging not raise prices before the pandemic? Why didn't they raise them before if they can just do it right now? Dr. Maboud, you first, quickly. Yeah, companies have power to hike prices in a crisis precisely because they have so much control over the system. And they're able to exploit the situation where there is, um, there is a crisis and people are vulnerable to take advantage of that and hike prices on consumers. So the grocery store or the gas station across the street or across town can't kind of lower it if they're if their competitors just being uh, opportunistic. Uh, Mr. Harmon, what do you think? Well, we saw with online sellers, uh, Amazon in particular, uh, prices were it went up at, with price gouging because they could because people were buying online and not going to the local store. So they, there was wow. more demand and they could increase price. Of course, as you well know on Amazon, there was a lot of wait time because they actually didn't have the supply. That, is, that was part of it, but they... Part of it? No, we're, we're talking no, no, about no, no. that they, it's price gouging. Right. That has incre you're, you're suggesting here today with H.R. 675 that it's price gouging alone that has caused inflation. Amazon itself... Uh, banned 6,000 users in uh, March 2020 for price gouging. I mean, they, they themselves identified it as the problem on their platform. Okay, so actually companies uh, regulate and manage that because it's not very competitive when that happens, right? Well, I, So I supply and demand will regulate itself so they have more supply. Dr. Ritchie, uh, how would you answer this? Uh, I, I think the way I would answer it is a little bit differently. Um, I, I think when we look at the different companies that have been discussed today uh, in this hearing and we talk about them as price gougers, whether they're mega corporations or multinationals, we are neglecting to look at the fact that these are the businesses that stayed open during the pandemic, unlike small businesses and competitors that were required to shut down, and that they were also able to leverage e-commerce better than small business and, and mid-sized business in the country. So you would expect that their growth profitability would have improved, and that's what we're seeing on price gouging. Right, and, and let me just close with this. So back home, my manufacturers and, and retailers are saying they no longer have the ability, since the PPI, which was mentioned earlier, is outstripping the CPI. They no longer have the ability to pass on prices, and their, their profits are going down rapidly in the last two months. We saw retail went down in December, uh, and we saw in Europe today uh, that inflation is roaring. 
It's not price gouging, folks. It's just inflation. Thank you, Madam Chair. I yield back.